this was a very special project for smith uh, because of its significant impact on the people living there and what a contribution it is to india smith is involved in this project uh, since its start to provide the design engineering and advisory services on the project our team of uh, more than 25 experts from different countries has come together to provide our global expertise to our client so that uh, this uh, huge undertaking can become a reality well the himalayas are a very daunting environment when it comes to conducting large civil works in this uh, steep and rugged terrain um the geological investigations were were quite difficult because the mountains uh, have peaks up to 5200 meters covered in snow they're the high himalayas and uh, so our geological investigations were limited initially to uh, extensive desk study satellite imagery and so on and um a few geological traverses up into the rugged mountain valleys because of the remote nature of the project it was very challenging uh to get significant geotechnical investigations undertaken for the full length of tunnel there were large lengths of tunnel where no borehole information was available and so we relied on interpretation of surface geology to account for this we developed a suite of rock support classes uh, to cover the full range of expected ground conditions that we would encounter these support classes ranged from light rock bolts and shotcrete through to heavy ladder skirters and thick shotcrete linings with the tunnel being driven on the 5200 meter high peaks and the anticipated variability of the rock we had to include provision for a flexible support system to allow for up to 600 mm convergence of the tunnel during the excavation during excavation of the tunnel the ground conditions were assessed and the support class was installed as required to suit the conditions encountered one of the complex uh, pieces of work was designing the tunnel ventilation system in accordance with the international best practice um we had to consider the height above sea level as well as the um differential pressure between the portals on each side of the mountain range at different times of the year different climatic conditions um and see how that would affect the ventilation system during normal and emergency operation one of the major challenge was the fire and life safety requirements uh as it was extremely challenging given that the two portals were actually located in different climatic conditions the resulting extreme atmospheric pressure differential uh between the two to- uh, portals could result in up to 30 kilometer high velocities and to allow effective fire suppression the solution was to fit the north portal with a hydraulically operated door to allow flattening down the wind velocity the design and development of the tunnel cross section was driven by the fire life safety requirement and with that we divided the tunnel into an upper compartment in the crown which formed the ventilation exhaust tunnel the and the lower section which formed the uh, escape passage both portals were actually located in an, uh, an active avalanche area the portals thus needed to be protected with galleries special galleries to to also house the ventilation structure and the uh, emergency uh, evacuation system after 14 years of uh, persistence and uh, collaborative efforts with our client and contractors we are really pleased to see this uh, tunnel getting completed this tunnel will offer a safe and uh, round the year would have available uh, between the two valleys this tunnel is going to be a life changer for the people living in the valley as now they will not remain cut off they can now travel around the year and uh, sell their produce to the different uh, regions we are really proud to have helped make an impact on uh, so many lives by delivering this service